Hi, and welcome to The Rave TV. I'm Linda Kay here with Edsel of Dope. Oh, sorry, I'm supposed to talk into the ice cream cone. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How's the tour going so far? It's very good. Uh, it's the Black Label Bash. It's, it's craziness. All right, well, this is your 10th time here at the rave. Now, I know you you're counted this. We have we have it on record. We have a tally sheet. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I know you were walking around earlier. Have you done any exploring around the building? Um, I've kind of been here 10 times before. I've kind of already done it all. There's lots of little caverns and little places you can get into trouble here if you so choose. Been down to the pool? I have been down to the pool. Yes, I have. I've heard eerie stories from people about the pool, though I have not seen any of this haunting. Maybe tonight. I'd like to. Maybe tonight. Please. <laughs> I, I would love to. That would be good. All right. So right now, uh, you have your latest CD, No Regrets. Correct. Awesome tracks on there. Can you tell us a little bit more about it, about the songwriting and the sound? Um, why don't you tell us about it? Do you like it? Absolutely. I think it... She likes it. So it reminds me a lot of like your earlier stuff too, but you know you got the new stuff in, and um, you also have a guest on this album. We do. Uh, the the big uh, Zach Wild himself decided to uh, do some shredding on the dope record, which was really fun because we never had anybody. Uh, d we never did a collaboration with anybody before, so if you're gonna choose one, I guess he's the right guy to start with, right? Absolutely. Will we maybe possibly see him on stage for Addiction? I would say no. You cannot bring Superman out in the early part of the night. You have to save him for later. So, oh, well, like starting out, did you ever imagine that you'd have Zach Wild, you know, with you on tour, and that he'd be on your album? I mean, um, no. <laughs> I, it's it's pretty it's pretty crazy because uh, <clears throat> I've been doing this a long time, obviously, and had a lot of ups and downs, but. At the end of the day, had a pretty steady career, you know, 10 years now. And um, if I could rewind back to being a kid coming home from, you know, school and turning on MTV and there's Ozzy Osbourne's Crazy Babies and Zach Wilde and somebody would have said, you're going to be torn with that dude and that dude played on your record, I think I'd probably say, that's making it. So I guess I can finally say I made it. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, officially now. <clears throat> well, I mean... You started, what, 97? Is that when you started? 97 was when I stopped selling drugs <laughs> and started playing <laughs> rock and roll. Well, I mean, at the... For a living. Well, you guys have such a unique sound, and at the time, you had bands like Power Man 5000, Static X, and whatever. What's, what's the secret to your longevity to where you are right now? Um, I just think we, uh, we keep cranking out records, and we keep going on tour, and people keep responding to it. You know, I think we're fortunate in that, but um, it's certainly not from a lack of effort either. You know, we've, we certainly understand that it's, you know, you got to work at this, and you got to take it seriously and treat it like a business, because it is. <laughs> if you're going to try to pay your bills from it, you got to work. Well, many years on the road, you've got to have a good, come on, tell, give me a really funny or super embarrassing story or just, you know, what's the bus ride? Like, just give me something. See, I really wish I would have had one of my band guys here, but they're off doing other things because uh, I have the Kelly Bundy memory. Like, I've experienced so much that every time I have a new experience, I have to lose an old one. So I need people to remind me and refresh me. Um, I don't know, every day it's a different stupidity. But it's in the diff It's like the same stupidity in a different place. But um, I don't know. You could pretty much imagine it. We've gotten into it and done it and seen it. Trailer breaks down a lot. That's a lot of fun to get woken up at five o'clock in the morning from a tire <laughs> rearing out inside, un under the bus, and then you have to wait for the tow truck. That sucks. Okay. That's not really the kind of story you were looking for, though, right? I, I, come on. Tell me later then. Okay. okay. <laughs> so I mean. All these years, you, you know, coming, you're from Chicago. So uh, not originally, but that's where we relocated to. It's where you recorded the last few albums, and No Regrets and everything. All right. So do you come up to Milwaukee a lot just, you know, for the heck of it? Or? I don't go anywhere. Okay. I, I, I Yeah, I sit in the studio, and when I'm not there, I'm trying to spend as much time in my own bed with my own girl as I can because when you're gone so much, it uh, you know, yeah, it's fun to be on the road and play rock and roll and all that stuff, but... You know, you really like to sleep in your own bed and know where your things are and yeah. not have 11 other people all over your shit every day, you know? Oops, I just said a bad word. It's okay. Sorry. Well, you have a lot of ink. I mean, obviously, right here. So can you show us your favorite tattoo or the one that has the most meaning to you? Uh, I mean, 
mean, the one that probably has the most meaning to me would be my knuckles because it was uh, this was the day that I, I kind of signed out of normal society at least 10 years ago. I guess now it's a lot more acceptable, but, t- you know, 10 or 11 years ago to tattoo your knuckles was pretty much saying you're never going to work a real job again. So uh, that's probably the most meaningful one, but I have tons. I mean, I, I also, I hate to say it, but I just like the way they look too, man. It's like, you know, <laughs> they don't all have to mean something. But the one thing I will say is uh, I can look back at my tattoos and, and remember where I was at when I got each one of them done and therefore sort of take myself back to where I was at at that point in my life. So they kind of mark things. That's pretty cool. All right, so what's some advice that you have for some up-and-coming bands? Come on. I know you get this ass lot, but just, you know. It's a really hard question because you can take it so many ways. I would just say to uh, to treat it like uh, a European backpacking trip with your buds and do it for the experience. And if it turns into something that you can make a real great living at, that's fantastic. But if it doesn't, then get out of it come back from Europe and get grow up and have a life because uh, it's it can suck it, people in, in in such a way to where if you're not making you know you can make a lot of you can make enough money to sustain yourself very easily by going city to city and playing gigs but um, you know at one point you wake up and you go I want to have a mortgage and I want to have a family and if you're not really successful in this business it's very hard to do that so for young bands starting that are completely unknown you know, treat it like summer camp for a while while taking it seriously in the hopes that it turns into something great. But if it doesn't, it's not because you're not good. It's because it's not a great business. It's not very lucrative anymore. So have fun with it. At least give it a shot, right? Yeah, Yeah, you know, but again, have realistic expectations of what you're trying to get out of it and give yourself a reasonable amount of time to get where you want to go. Because again, it's not a, it's not necessarily about how talented you are or how great a songs you write or how good of a show you can put on. It's a dying industry in a lot of ways, and uh, it's being rethought in a lot of ways as far as how you can actually make a living at it. And when when you're that that new and unknown, a lot of work goes into branding a band, and the labels aren't really spending that money anymore. So, good luck. <laughs> so I've seen your show. It's kind of grim. <laughs> I've seen your show a ton of times, just full of energy, loud, awesome. What can we expect to see from the show tonight? That's what we do. It will be loud. It will be uh, high energy. The crowd will participate, and they will go, damn, where have these guys been? I, I, you know, every time I see them, they kick my ass, and, but, like, they're just not really big. But that's what will happen. It happens every night. They go, fuck, we love dope. And then hopefully they go by the record. So right now with No Regrets, uh, just right now, I mean, I know you just released it, but what can we expect next from Dope? Um, I don't know. I think we're going to finish this tour. Uh, then we're going to probably do another tour and then probably do another tour and then uh, see if there's another tour to be done or another record to make and just keep <laughs> doing what we do. Uh, the g- good thing about this tour is we're back out on a, on a, a high-profile event with a bunch of other big bands as opposed to just doing what we've been doing the last few years and just headlining our own shows. It's nice to play to other people's fans and to remind people that may have, you know, forgotten about you that you're still here doing it. So it's a great opportunity for us to kind of re-kickstart the whole thing that has been doing pretty good on its own. Well, I absolutely hope you have more albums out and more tours because every show is kick-ass. So thank thank you you very very much much, for hanging out with us today. Thank you for having us in Milwaukee in the, didn't Jeffrey Dahmer hack somebody up across the, the street? Ambassador Hotel, yeah. Awesome. This place is just great. And hopefully you will see some ghosts tonight here. Oh, I hope so. LeJean from Seven Dust was telling me he had an experience here where he saw some crazy lady walking across the crowd, and I can't believe it's true, but he swears by it, so I want to see something, man. I hope that happens I'm do some you. mushrooms. I don't know, something. <laughs> I'm make it happen. Absolutely. So thank you again, Ed. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. I'm going to shake your hand. Yes. <laughs> thank you for watching. Make sure to check out Dope's latest CD, No Regrets. And thank you for watching the Rave TV. We'll catch Sitting you next all time. Hunched over. <laughs> I feel like Ozzy. <laughs>